Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. It's me, Daisy. And today, guys, we are playing The Man from the Window. Oh my gosh, man, this looks scary. Are you sure about this? Yeah, this, this game is going to be awesome. Who is that? Um, I think that's Mama Bunny. <laughs> uh, she brought home a snack by the looks. Yeah, because she works at the bakery. I want her to be my mom. <laughs> I love baked goods. You can feed me all the cupcakes you want. And all the donuts and, you know, all that stuff. She looks kind of tired. She probably worked really hard today. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Oh my stars, I am tired. Woo, what a long day. Seems like I keep getting home later and later. But that's just how it is sometimes. I ain't giving up. That's right, never give up, Mama Rabbit. Gonna need to be up er bright and early to breakfast for the little one. Oh, she has a baby? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh yeah, here comes the baby. Aw, he's so cute. Mama, Mama. Junior, what on earth are you doing up this late? You know you have school tomorrow. But Mama, the man from the book is gonna get me. Huh? What man? What book? The man in my story book. See? Oh my gosh. He's got the book that says the man from the window. Give it here. You're gonna find out. It's a scary story. The man from the window is quite the odd fellow. With his big beady eyes and sunken nose, why he just wants to say hello. Well, this book doesn't seem too mean or too scary. Not really, Molly, but Junior seems to think so. He silently peers through windows, searching for one thing and one thing only. A new friend is all he wants, for the man is very, very lonely. Once you hear his tap, tap, tapping at the window, you'll know he's found a new friend to play. For now, you have only five minutes before he takes you away. Whoa, that is kind of creepy. Told you so, Molly. But do not fret, for staying in one place is the man's only peeve. Keep him at bay for fi another five minutes, and he'll leave. Huh. The man indeed is very, very bold. Soon he will check inside the place which is cold. The man is in his element doing what he does best. Next he will look under the plate. Wait, it went too fast! The man will walk, then he will lurch. Then the place under the mirror is where he will search. The man has no friends, no family, no son, and no daughter. Next he will check the place which holds water. We have to remember all this, Molly. No way, I already missed one. I was reading too slow. The man has no use for Twinket or Token. He will now check under the place where bread is broken. Junior, this is just one of those scary books people write. You're too young to be reading this kind of stuff. It'll scare your little mind half to death. Listen, Junior, it's just a book, sweetie. Now get that cotton tail off to bed. Right now. At this rate, you won't want to wake up in the... Huh? What was that? Calm down, Junior. Whatever's out there, I'm pretty sure it ain't a monster. Oh my god, did you guys hear that tapping? Junior? Yes? Where'd you get this book from? It was on the table when I got home from school. You got it for me, right? Oh dear lord, this ain't good. Oh no. Somebody's definitely out there. Oh boy, what should we do? Well, I'm thinking we should probably eat donuts, 
just kidding. No, we shouldn't. We should try to close that door because someone's going to be coming in here. Lock the door and then barricade it. Okay, um... Let me see what I have in here to, like... I don't know. Maybe I have, like, a weapon or something. Uh, not a chance. The sink cabinet is way too snug for me to hide down there. But Junior definitely could. Okay, maybe I could just hide us somewhere. Come on, Junior. You need to hide. How about here, in the refrigerator? Oh, there's no way I'm fitting in there. But you could, Junior. Come on. Huh? Junior, follow me. Okay. I don't think that's the best hiding spot. Well, I'm the mom and you're the kid, so you have to do what I say. All right, I'm hiding Junior inside the fridge. Junior, it might be a little cold, but you need to hide in the fridge, okay? Don't come out until Mama says so, all right? I'm scared. Don't be. Everything's going to be okay. Oh my gosh, I hear tapping again. How am I going to hide? Uh, uh, maybe I should have eaten so many donuts because I'm not going to hit fit anywhere. Oh my God, I'm going to run out of time. Where should I go? Where should I go? Where should I go? Somebody's out there. I just know it. Okay, I don't see anybody at the door. Well, I guess that's a good sign. He hasn't tried to break in yet. But I'm too chubby to fit anywhere. I guess maybe I could hide in my bed. Nah, ain't no way I'm going to be able to hide under the bed. Hmm. Oh my gosh, the tapping continues. Tap, 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 tap. Still nobody there. The suspense is building. I can barely take this. Maybe I could, um... I could probably put this couch in front of the door. Um, it'll take about two minutes. I'm gonna do it. There. All right, um. Maybe I could bribe him with some, like, yummy, delicious donuts. I bought a box of donuts for my job. Don't they look delicious? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Maybe I could throw a plate at his head when he comes in the door. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something. I think I can fit myself under the table, though. That's about the only place I can fit. But if I hide under there, I feel like he's going to see me, like, right away. And then he'll leave with us forever. But at least Junior would be safe. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. Bum, bum, bum! The door was left unlocked, but the man was a unable to open it. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took the man an entire minute to break through the barricaded door. Oh my gosh. The time was now 2.01 a.m. Oh man, we have to survive four more minutes, Junior! The man spotted a box of donuts sitting on the table. I knew he'd see that because everybody loves donuts. <laughs> the man took an entire minute to eat them all. <laughs> my plan worked. The time was now 2.02 a.m. Hey, I gotta remember that if I lose this time, that he likes donuts. Maybe I can just, like, get him to eat the donuts and not kill us all. The man looked inside the fridge. Oh, no! Junior! The man has found a new friend. Great, Molly! You got me lost to the man in the window forever! He has to be nearby still. I'll go find him myself if I have to. I ain't lying. The man broke in and he just took him. I couldn't even stop him. Please, someone, find my son, my junior. Please. Okay, round two. Let's see if we can not lose this time. Yeah, let's see, Molly. Holy guacamole. You sacrificed me to the man in the window in only two seconds. Okay, so I don't think we should put Junior in the refrigerator because, um, obviously he wants a drink. Like, he's going for some milk after he ate all those donuts or something. So, um, the man in the window is not at the door yet. We have a few minutes to hide, and if we can make it an entire five minutes without us finding him, he'll go away forever. And then we'll burn that book! Oh my gosh, that book is evil. Okay, so let me think about this. Um... I better take the keys with me. 
Maybe I can lock this door. Like, don't you think that would be a good idea? <laughs> lock the door. Yeah. Lock the door and put up a bunch of boards or something. All right, I'm going to put the couch in front of the door. Um, that takes two minutes, remember, guys? So I'm going to move the couch. And then we have to find a much better hiding place for Junior. He likes to eat donuts. So I'm going to open the box because... um. Oh my gosh, it said I could eat the donuts. I feel like I should eat the donuts. I'm so hungry. Molly, would you concentrate? me? I don't really feel like dying. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Um, Let's put Junior. Where could I put Junior? Where should I put Junior? Where should I put Junior? Junior, Um, I think you should go hide under the bed. Come on, follow me. Okay. You were a terrible mom last time, though, and the man in the window got me. Hey, let's not rub that in or anything, okay? All right, Junior, get under the bed. And don't you come out until I say so, all right? I'm scared. Don't be. This time, we're really going to be all right. Yeah, I don't believe it. Okay, now I have to find a place to put myself because... Let's just face it, guys. I'm a fat rabbit. <laughs> I, 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 I know I am. Yeah, I'm sure not fitting in that refrigerator or in the microwave. Um, I don't know what else to do, like... Ah! Oh my god, that's terrifying! Bah! Holy guacamole! Um, yeah, we should probably hide and quick because he's at the door. It's 1.59 a.m. right now, and I, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm gonna fit, I'm gonna go under this. I gotta go somewhere. Oh my god, that man in the window was terrifying! Holy guacamole! It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. The door was left unlocked, but the man was unable to open it. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took the man an entire minute to open it. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, now he's gonna go eat the donuts. I know this because I love donuts too, so that's the first thing I do. The man spotted a box of donuts sitting on the table. Mmm, those were good, weren't they, psycho? Molly, don't, don't make him mad. Time was now 2.02 a.m. Wait a minute, why didn't he open the fridge? Oh, God, he's opening the door. The man looked under the bed. Is he going to see Junior? <gasps> no, he took Junior again. O M G. Okay, Molly, I want a new mom. I, I want someone else to adapt to me. Oh, come on, Daisy. I'm going to win this game eventually. Maybe like the third time around. Oh, this is going to take you a very long time. I can tell already. I'm going to do it this time, Daisy. I promise. You've said that a million other times. And the man in the window keeps taking me. Watch this. This couch is nice and sturdy, so I'm going to move the couch in front of the door. It's going to take two minutes, but don't worry, Daisy. This is the best thing ever to do. Okay, I'm going to take the keys, and I'm going to open the box of donuts, because we all know the crazy man in the window likes the donuts. Next, Junior, come with me, please. Look at this. I still have the book, and I just figured out something after playing this game for four hours. It gives us some clues in here. He checks the place that will hold no water. Now he checks the place where the bread is broken. Then the place where the, under the mirror is where he will search next. Hmm, under the mirror? What's under the mirror? I think he, he's gonna look under the sink next. Oh yeah, you're probably right. Okay, you have to hide in the toilet. <laughs> okay, no, I'm just kidding. You better be kidding. I'm not hiding in the toilet. All right, I hit you under the sink. Now I'm very chubby, so I have to find a place for myself. Okay, I'm going to close the door. And can I lock it? Because that would be awesome. Literally, I don't know what these keys are good for. Like, pretty much nothing. But I'm gonna hide under the table. Um, and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, we'll just see if I get killed or not. 
It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the house. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the lock apart. Oh, I actually figured out how to lock the door! Large, heavy, heavy couch was in front of it, and it took him an entire minute to break through the barricaded door. Oh my gosh, that's good news. I couldn't figure out why those keys weren't working. Okay, the time was now 2.01, and everybody knows what's going to happen next! He's going to eat some donuts. Yeah, if I was an evil psycho, I would eat the donuts. Marley, even if you are an evil psycho, you'd eat the donuts. Okay, now it's 2.02. Where's he going next? He looked inside the fridge. Bum, 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 bum! Nothing is there. <laughs> now it's 2.03. Oh my gosh, Junior, we only have to stay alive for two more minutes! The bedroom door had been locked. Oh, I guess my keys finally did work. Okay, he had to spend 30 seconds looking under the bed. Or tearing off the door. And now he's looking under the bed. He found nothing, but of course, that took him some time. So we're getting closer to 205. Oh my gosh! One more minute, Daisy! One more minute! The bathroom door had been locked, so he spent 30 seconds ripping the bathroom door off. Oh my gosh, are we going to win? He looked inside the bathtub, but he finds nothing. Oh my gosh, the man's time was up and he knew it. So as quickly as he arrived, the man from the window left. Oh my God, is he gone? For real? Did he leave, Junior? Molly, Molly, are you, are you still alive out there? Yeah, and so aren't you. We're, we're free. I mean, we don't have any donuts to eat, but you know, can't always have everything you want in life. At least we're alive. <laughs> Mama, is he gone? For real this time? He's gone. Don't worry. Hooray! You can always bring home more donuts. I knew you could do it. Yeah, you had so much faith in me this entire game. Oh, no! Mama, he ate all the donuts. And, and I'm super hungry. I'll bring you home some from work tomorrow, okay? Okay. And Junior? Huh. No more cursed books, all right? I ain't up to dealing with that again. But what are we going to do about the woman from the door? Wait, what? The who? Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Huh. What am I going to do with you, huh? Wow, that game was cray-cray! Tell me about it, Molly. Um, but I liked it, I have to admit. Yeah, it was super creepy when we looked out the window or looked out the door and we saw the man from the window. He was creepy looking. Hey guys, thanks so much for playing along with us today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, good morning. It looks like you definitely need to be here at the salon. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Well, your hair is just a little out of date. Out of date? This hairstyle is amazing! Um, no, you definitely do need a different haircut. Um, are you Molly? Yeah, I'm here to have a pedicure and not get my hair done. Well, um, can I recommend that I just shampoo and condition your hair and maybe give you a more up-to-date style? Um, I don't know. I've had this haircut, like, pretty much my whole life. Exactly my point. Your hair just needs a little updating. Come on, sweetie, I know what I'm doing. I just got out of beauty school. Well, does that mean you don't have very much practice? No, that's not what it means at all. Okay, yeah, it kind of means that, but trust me, look at my hair, doesn't it look amazing? Well, it's a little bit um bright for my taste. Trust me, it's gonna be amazing. Ow, that water's too hot! Sorry, <laughs> I've only washed people's hair at hair, at hair school. I can tell. Um, it feels like you're cutting a lot of hair off. Am I gonna be bald at the end of this? No, of course not. I hope, anyway. You don't sound very confident. Um, yeah, your hair's gonna be beautiful, I promise. Just don't look in the mirror till I'm done. Okay, what do you think? My hair is, 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 is pink! Um, yeah, uh, no, I don't need to look like cotton candy. Please change it. Okay, I thought it was adorable, but whatever you say. What about this? I put some highlights on the end. Whoa, it doesn't even look like me. 
I look like a superstar! <laughs> My sister is such a fashionista, she's not going to even believe this! Well, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Have a wonderful summer! Thank you! Bye! OMG, look at me! I look like a supermodel! Daisy, Daisy, where do you see my new hairdo? You're gonna be so jealous. Who's gonna be jealous? Why does it sound like I'm talking from the couch, but I'm actually standing over here? Who are you? Wh why do you look like me? Because I'm the better version of you, duh. The better version of me? B b b where did you come from? Wait a minute, is that my iPad? <laughs> no. Now it's my iPad. Wait a minute. You're you're my identical twin? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to take over your life. Um, well, I'm not really sure you'd want it. I mean, there's a lot of homework in it and chores. There's also an annoying sister named Daisy. I don't care about all that. I just want to live here. This house is really nice. This town is really nice. And that boyfriend of yours seems really nice, too. Don't you go near Luke! Well, I have to apologize, Molly. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, you could say that again. You're trying to take over my life? Ooh, what's that? A shamrock shake from McDonald's? It sure is. And I'm giving it to you. Wow. Hmm. That tastes... Wait a minute. That tastes kind of weird. <laughs> That's because it's a special kind of drink. Wait, what? What's in this? This tastes really weird. Ew. <laughs> Too late now. You already drank it. What's happening to me? What? What am I? I, 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 I feel like I, I can't even be seen. Where'd you go, Molly? <laughs> Are you a ghost? Yeah, I am. What happened? If you're wondering what happened, <laughs> that drink I just gave you, it was, well, not your ordinary McDonald's shamrock shake. It basically had a potion in it to turn you into a ghost forever so I could take over your life. <laughs> oh my God, you're such an evil twin. Help, somebody help. No one can hear you. You're a ghost. Duh. Oh no. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Boo! Boo! Stop that! Why am I making those boo noises? Oh, wait. I'm a ghost. That's right. Time to sign into Molly's Roblox account and become a star Roblox player. <laughs> now, what would she use as her password? Hmm. I know. Molly, I'm home. Remember, I always use the computer right after school to do my schoolwork. Whatever, I don't care what you want. You must be Daisy. Of course I'm Daisy. Molly, what's gotten into you? And besides, you don't want to get grounded, right? Because it's my turn on the computer. Your turn is until 5.30. I don't care what time is your time. I'm on the computer, so go away! What? Molly, I'm calling Mom. It's ringing, Molly. Okay. I don't really care. And also, you smell like poop. Molly, how could you smell? <laughs> Ma Ew, Molly, that stinks. Hey, Daisy, what's up? I'll be home soon, honey. I'm just finishing up at work. Is this an emergency? Mom, it's a total emergency. Molly is being a brat again. Well, that's sort of like every other day, right, Daisy? I wouldn't call that an emergency. She won't get off the computer. She just wants to sit on the computer and play Roblox. And I need to do my homework. Okay, put me on speakerphone. Molly, this is your mother. Get off the computer. I don't care what you have to say. Well, Molly, do you want to hear me say that you're grounded and can't go to the water park this weekend? Whoa, Molly's mom is kind of harsh. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get off the computer. Um, Molly, you're acting pretty cray-cray right now, even for Molly. Has something gotten into you? Yeah, something's gotten into her. She's not really me. I'm me. Boo. Whoa, did you feel that cold draft? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe it was a ghost, though. A ghost? That's creepy. I don't like ghosts. You would like me. I'm your friendly ghost sister. 
Daisy, come on. This is an imposter. It's not really me. You have to you have to see me. Daisy, please. See me. Daisy. Ooh. Oh, that's a breeze again. <laughs> I just better put on a sweater. It's a little chilly right now. How do I get Daisy to know that it's actually me and I'm a ghost? Wait a minute. I could try to move things around the house, and then she'd know something was going on. Maybe she'd suspect that evil twin isn't me. Um, um, wait. There's her birthday balloon. I could move that around the room, and then she'd wonder, who was doing that? Boo. Boo. Why is my birthday balloon floating around the room all by itself? That looks very strange. Must be just the wind. I mean, balloons don't move on their own. Oh, man. That didn't work. I'm going to have to try something more drastic. I wonder if ghosts can write. Well, there's only one way to find out. Ooh, we can. Okay, let me leave her a note. Daisy, I'm a ghost. Oh, this pen quit writing. I wanted to say I'm your ghost sister, but all it says is I'm a ghost. How did this get written over here? It says I... I he says, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a g -g 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 ghost. That's right, Daisy. I'm a ghost. Ah, there's a ghost in our house. Our house is haunted. Ah! Daisy, but I'm a friendly ghost. I'm your sister. I call the ghost exterminators. Call the ghostbusters. I need help. Okay, I need help. I need to call the ghostbusters. Where's my signal? Oh, my gosh. Okay, here we go. Thank you for calling the Ghostbusters. We're sad to inform you that we will be on vacation for the rest of the month. What? You can leave a message after the beep, but you're probably going to be ghost infested till we get back since we're the only Ghostbusters in Brookhaven. Leave a message after the beep and happy ghost hunting. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck with this ghost. It's so creepy. Why is there a ghost in my house? I don't understand. I mean... I don't think we built this house on an ancient burial ground. Daisy, snap, snap out of it. Daisy, snap out of it. Ah, how is the fire extinguisher blowing all on its own? Ah! Boo! Daisy, it's me! Wait, that sort of sounded like Molly? What? Wait a minute. But you were just here a minute ago. How did you die? What? <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm right here. This is an imposter. That's not me, Daisy. Please. She had me drink a a, a, a potion, and now, now I'm a ghost. You're so spooked by ghosts, aren't you, Daisy? I really am. And the weird thing was, is it sounded like you, Molly. What? The ghost sounded like me? Now I know you're cray-cray. Did you hit your head today? Do we need to go to the hospital? I'm beginning to wonder. I'm starting to feel kind of crazy. Well... Come on, we should probably take you to the hospital. And then maybe you should move out. Move out? What are you talking about, Molly? Yeah, you need to live in, like, the crazy hospital or whatever because you're seeing and hearing ghosts. I do not. I'm not crazy. I know it sounded like my sister. I'm your sister. Are you sure? You seem extra crazy and rude to me. Daisy, please don't leave me in ghost form. I need your help. What's this? Ooh, I left over share matching. Daisy, don't drink that! No! Ooh, don't drink it! Daisy! Mmm, this tastes, whoa, kind of real. Oh no, oh no! The evil twin's gonna take over our lives, Daisy. Now you're gonna be a ghost too! Ooh, wait a minute. What's happened to me? Same thing that happened to me. Molly? You, you, you're a ghost? Yeah, and so aren't you. Wait a minute, I thought I heard a ghost in the house. Yeah, well, turns out I have an evil twin that got us to drink a potion that turned us both into ghosts, and now she's going to take over our lives. What? Yeah, she looks exactly like me. Ah, this is horrible news! See you later, ghosts. <laughs> That potion never wears off. Not ever. Ha, 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 ha. Daisy, we've got to figure this out. We can figure it out. Can she heal us right now? No. And it looks like she took off. 
Probably to take our car and use all our money to buy ice cream. That's what I would do if I was an evil twin. Oh, Pua Domali. Now what are we gonna do? I don't know, live out our best life as ghosts? Molly! Well, that's all I can think of. What is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom, 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 mom. Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? <coughs> Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry. Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't. I'm starving. Mom, help. <coughs> can't wait any longer. Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR! Dad, no! no! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, Um, I can't do my homework. What? Why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just going to skip it. Molly, no, you're not. The answer is no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer. Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog. It's smiling. <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready. Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Molly, you're still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, oh, 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 that, that's, that's not fair. Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom, mom, mom. Yes, girls. Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no, it's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything! Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests! Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute. I didn't know I was a part of this decision. What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off the limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. 
Whoa, Molly, you kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. Um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha-ha! <laughs> skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents! Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. This is a little bit of waffle. Mm hmm. So delicious. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxy ate delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like, what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh. All right. But be careful, okay? We will. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> I'm going to ride in mom's car. I'm going to ride in mom's car. It's going to be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not dad's though. It's mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven it all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy is after me. P I G G Y. Okay, you won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my God, Daisy, I just put Mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't, my door is stuck. Ah, Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight. I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? 
Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh, my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the, po the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pod! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Marty, I'm a little nervous. She's gonna freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh boy, this might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was gonna take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes, remember? Because it's yes day. Oh boy, I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Um, uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait, you really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy! Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um Duh, I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What, seriously? <laughs> Don't worry, mom, I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna step over you, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're gonna go to the ice cream shop. Whoa, <laughs> there's mom's Jeep. Oh well, it was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Molly, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um, Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Molly. Maybe they're on their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Molly? Yeah, pretty much. You start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat $1,000 worth yet? Not even close. Why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh! I know. I'm definitely gonna throw up. Definitely. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. 
Where is there a bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Oh! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. And we ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, so much ice cream. Molly, get off of me. Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could bleh. Ew, Molly, gross. I don't want any more yes days. Never again. I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm going to have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Molly. This is just crazy. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Molly, shh, please. I am trying to write an email to the other people in my science fail group. And you're really being loud. Oh, sorry. Mm. These Doritos are good. Now you're crunching too loud. Picky, picky. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just sitting here watching cops. No, Molly, I want you to get up and do your chores, please. Please vacuum the floor. But, Mom... I can't move. I'm too full of Doritos. What? Doritos? You're not supposed to be eating those. Go in the kitchen and eat something healthy if you're hungry. Who said anything about being hungry? I just like the taste of Doritos. Molly. Oh, you're killing me here. You're killing me. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Ugh. Do I really have to vacuum? Yes. Okay. Chores are so lame. Aww. Molly, everyone has to pitch in so that the house is nice and clean and runs smoothly. All I hear you say is blah, 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 blah. Boss Molly around, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you are vacuuming the floor. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to turn into a couch potato. Too late. Oh, could, I, could I eat some potato chips, Mom? I'm still kind of hungry. No, of course you can't, Molly. Have an apple. Apple? No way! Molly, you can't just eat bad food all the time. Your body needs healthy things. Ugh. Eat healthy, Molly. Vacuum the floor, Molly. Be quiet, Molly. Can I finally watch my cops episode while eating this apple? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Molly, have you done your homework? Huh? What? Can't hear you. She asked if you've done your homework. Uh, yeah, sure. Molly, if you did your homework, let me see it. Oh, um, uh, okay. Ugh, oh, homework, homework, homework. Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Okay, here it is. Here you go, Mom. Molly, this is just a blank piece of paper. There's nothing on it. Oh, um, yeah, well, <laughs> that's just because you can't see it because you have... Grown-up eyes. Yeah, that's it. It's magical homework. Molly, are you really thinking that I'm going to believe you on this one? She knows you're being ridiculous, Molly. <laughs> Me? Ridiculous? I'm offended that you guys would think I was ridiculous. Of course it's magic homework. Molly, I wasn't born yesterday. This is a blank piece of paper. Do your homework. Wow, snappy. Do your homework. Right now! Okay, fine. Ugh. My mom is so bossy. She just makes me do stuff all the time that I don't want to do. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the opposite of what my mom says for 24 hours. <laughs> Molly, would you please mop the floor too? <sighs> my feet are sticking to it. It's really gross. You're supposed to mop. Actually, Daisy's supposed to mop. No, I did it um, last week, Molly. It's your turn. Okay, Mom, I'll mop the floor. Not. I'm going to do the opposite of what she says and chill on the couch. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? 
<sighs> Molly, um, it's time for dinner. Come on, girls. Daisy. Oh, boy. Dinner. What are we having? Pizza? No, we're having a delicious chicken bake with healthy vegetables. Ugh. Sounds miserable. I think it sounds delicious. Of course you would, Daisy. Ugh. I know what to do with this. <laughs> Hi, Coco. Do you want a delicious chicken dinner with vegetables? Here you go. <laughs> you can have all of it. Ugh. Who wants to eat that when you can have a candy bar? <laughs> Molly, are you letting are you letting Coco eat your dinner? Who me? No, never. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell mom. Tattletail! You better not! Okay, fine, Molly, but you better not feed that food to the dog. Mmm. This Hershey bar is delicious. And a donut to wash it down. <laughs> Ugh. Kinda got a stomach ache. Oh well, it's still delicious! Molly, did you finish your homework? Yeah, sure, I got it all done. Wait, Mom, where are you? I'm over here. No, you're over there. Wait, wait, where? She's magic! She disappeared! Mom? 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 Molly, what are you doing? <laughs> that was funny. I'm trying to get the laundry done. Would you like to help? Um, let me think about that for a minute. Uh, eh, uh, eh. No! Oh, Molly, you're so helpful, aren't you? <sighs> okay, why don't you go take a bath? It's almost time for bed. Okay! Bath. <laughs> I'm not taking a bath. Where's a giant mud puddle I can splash in? That sounds like a much better idea. Aren't there any mud puddles in Brookhaven? A, a girl doesn't want to take a bath, unless it's a mud bath. <laughs> I have an idea. Since I have to do the opposite of everything my mom says, I have to get very dirty right now. And I know the perfect place. La 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 la. I'm gonna roll around in the dumpster. <laughs> Wait, where is the dumpster? Oh, there it is. This is going to be epically smelly. Whee! <laughs> oh, it's stinky in here. Oh, I smell so bad. It's perfect. Wow, the stink is just wafting off of me. <laughs> I am surrounded in a stink cloud. Perfect. Oh, what is that awful smell? It smells like a dead fish mixed with a sewer. Ew. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you want to switch beds with me tonight? Uh, not really. I like my bed. It's comfortable. <coughs> I can't breathe. Wait a minute. Molly, is that you that smells that way? And you wanted to sleep in my bed? Well, I don't want to make my bed smell bad. Molly, get out of my bed right this instant. Molly, ew. I'm telling Mom. You better not. You're a tattletale. Okay, fine. I'll just wear my gas mask and change my sheets. But why don't you take a bath? And what were you doing? Rutting with the pigs? Something like that. <laughs> oh, what's that smell? Oh, wait. It's still Molly. <laughs> Daisy, come closer. Come closer. Ah, get away from me. Girls, what are you doing? Mom, why are you still standing in front of the washing machine? Because there's so much laundry. I'm still telling another load of it this morning. Wow, you do a lot of laundry. You girls go through a lot of clothes. Ew, what's that smell? Are you wearing the same clothes you did yesterday? Those aren't clean anymore. I know they're not clean. <laughs> Molly, go change right this instant. <coughs> Molly, the bus is here. Molly, oh my goodness. Do you have gym clothes in your bag? Uh, yeah. Just change into those when you get to school so you're not late. Come on, go before you miss the bus. Have a great day, Molly. Don't get detention. Ah, uh, no promises. Mom says I have to get on the bus. There's the bus. But since it's still 24 hours, I have to do the exact opposite of what Mom says. <laughs> Dad? Oh, hi. Dad, what are you doing? I really didn't want to go to work today, so I'm hiding in the bushes. Dad! Get out of here! This is my hiding space! Okay, Dad. Whatever. You're gonna get fired! 
Oh no, I'm just gonna take a personal day. I need to hide from the world. Me too. Well, pick your own hiding spot. And also, you smell terrible. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, another long day of work. Hopefully Molly doesn't get detention. <laughs> Mom's gone. Well, Mom, I can't get detention because I'm not actually at school. <laughs> ah, finally. Now I can watch my favorite show without anybody irritating me. Okay, is Cops not on? Because that will make me sad. Oh, yeah, Cops is on. Oh, yeah, and eat some Doritos. Gonna chill out. Mm. Doing the opposite of what my mom said for 24 hours was the best decision of my life. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot my purse. Molly? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Molly, did you just skip school? Why do you still smell? Why are you eating unhealthy food? Um, well, I was sort of just getting a little sick of you bossing me around all the time, so decided to do the opposite of what you said for 24 hours. Molly! I tell you these things because I want you to be healthy and successful and a good human being. Oh, you drive me crazy. And to that end, you're grounded for an entire week. What? An entire week? Yes. Now go take a bath so I can drive you to school, Stinky. Oh, man. This opposites thing didn't work out at all. Chop, chop, Molly. Chop, chop. Okay, fine. I could go to school smelly. No way. Hurry. Um, if you're thinking about doing the opposite of what your mom says, here's my advice. Don't! Playtime songs, they're so awesome. All right, let me see if I can find another one. Molly, it's time to get ready for bed. What? No, I'm watching Poppy Playtime music. Molly, you've been watching that all night. Seriously, you have to go to bed now. But mom, there's this one about Huggy Wuggy. Molly, time for bed, seriously. Okay, fine. How come Daisy gets to stay up late? Molly, Daisy's not even here. She's at dance camp. But I bet she's staying up late. Molly, I don't know if Daisy's staying up late, but you should have went to dance camp if you wanted to see if you could stay up late at dance camp. Uh, Mom, you're not making any sense right now. Molly, just go to bed! Okay, okay. Wow, you ever have your mom just get, like, so annoyed with you? <laughs> yeah, that happens to me, too. Uh, well, I guess I am kind of tired. Uh, but tomorrow night, I'm staying up till midnight and watching all the Poppy Playtime songs. <laughs> first. You're braver than me, and you're the grown-up. And plus, I don't want to get eaten by Huggy Wuggy. Molly, there's nothing in your room. But, 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 he was right here! Maybe he's hiding on the side of the bed. He was on Daisy's bed? Yeah, maybe he wanted to have a sleepover or something, I don't know, but he was right here! And, and, and where's he hiding? Huggy Wuggy, come out right now! Molly, I think you've been watching too much Poppy Playtime songs on YouTube. That's gonna be enough of that. What? No, I love those. You can't take those away from me. Well, Molly, it seems like you're having nightmares about it. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, okay, Molly, I'm going back to bed. Try to get some rest, okay? Okay. Good night, Mom. I love you. Uh-huh. I love you, too. Less Poppy's Playtime. Ah, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Poppy Playtime is amazing. 
I'm just not gonna fall asleep, like, ever again. I'm just gonna lay here with my eyes open until the morning. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Okay. I can stay awake. Sure. Totally. I need to get a good night's sleep. Okay, fine. But be careful. Huggy Wuggy might come in. I'll just lock the door, Molly, okay? Okay. Mom? Yes, Molly? Thanks for letting me sleep in here. It was really creepy in my room. No problem. Now go to sleep, please! Seriously, she's not allowed to watch Poppy Playtime anymore. Hi, hi, I know. Hi, I know you're here, Huggy. Molly, wake up. Huh? What? What? Molly, wake up. Okay, I'm awake. I'm awake. Mom, I know you think I was just like watching too much Poppy Playtime and basically having nightmares, but I'm telling you, Huggy was in my room. Molly, I don't believe you. And I'm exhausted for work today. Fine, you don't believe me? I'll, I'll prove it to you. You wait and see, Mom! You wait and see! I know what I'll do. I'll get a Huggy Wuggy trap. Hi, welcome to Brookhaven Grocery. I don't really want to be here today, but it's a job, so here I am. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, sorry you don't like your job very much. It's okay. As soon as I get done with college, I won't be working here anymore. Is there anything I can help you find today? Yeah, you can help me find a Huggy Wuggy trap. <laughs> a Wuddy Wuddy trap? Huggy Wuggy! Wuddy Wuddy? Huggy Wuggy! Don't tell me you've never heard of him. I've never heard of him. You know, Huggy Wuggy! Huggy Wuggy was a blue fuzzy fuzzy. Sharp teeth, big hands, wasn't friendly, was he? Gotta play whack a Huggy Wuggy. Hit that red, pink, green, yellow, bluesy woozy. Say what? What are you even talking about? Wait, I'm not done! Huggy Wuggy got two sets of teethy winkies. Gonna chomp you in two bitsy witsy witsies. Give him a punchy wunchy. In the heady weddy weddy be weddy be weddy. What? Are you singing right now? It's, it's, it's crazy. Okay, fine. Obviously you don't know what Huggy Wuggy is. You don't sell the traps here. I'll just have to try to figure out what would trap Huggy Wuggy on my own. Hmm. If Huggy Wuggy is anything like me, he loves Doritos. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a grocery cart right now. Okay, here we go. Um, Doritos? Yes, please. Um, uh... What are you doing? Get me out of this car right now! First you talk about this crazy Huggy Wuggy, and now you're pushing me around like I'm a baby? Well, get out of my car then! Good grief. Okay, and then, um... I like Reese's, so he probably likes that. Oh, Hershey bars. Yes, please. Um, pizza. Nah, I'm sure you wouldn't like pizza, but these things will definitely trap a Huggy Wuggy. This Hershey bar is delicious. Okay, Molly, stop eating it. You don't want to eat it. You got to use it as a trap for Huggy Wuggy. Okay, I'll just put this over on my dresser. And, ooh, here's an ice cream. Mm. No, that won't work. It'll melt. Um, so Doritos. Um, and also a Reese cup. Perfect. Um, Molly, what are you doing? Mom, are you okay? Uh, I worked a very long shift. I'm exhausted. Did you watch more of that Poppy Playtime today? No, I didn't have time. I was too busy. Okay. Oh, I'm going to bed. Make sure you brush your teeth. Okay, Mom. I will. Good night. I love you. Good night, Molly. Now it's time to trap a Huggy Wuggy. Ugh, I am feeling pretty sleepy. Ugh, 
Ah, I hope my trap works, though. I'm totally sleeping with the lights on, though. It's too creepy without him. I mean, Huggy Buggy is an evil monster. <laughs> he wants a hug. Ooh. What's that smell? It smells delicious. <gasps> Candy, Doritos. I love all these things. Oh my gosh, I hear Huggy Buggy. My trap worked. Freeze, Huggy. Huh? What? What? I oh, know, I've been gone. Yeah, red-handed. And guess what? I came prepared. I've got a taser. What? No! Oh, why are you chasing me? I just wanted to give you a hug. Aww. Mom! Mom! You stay there. What am I saying? He's tased. He can't move. Whoa, I went to the wrong room again. Mom! Mom, wake up! Wake up! Mom, are you okay? Are you alive? Mom? Huh? What? Long shift at work. Can't move. Mom, I tased Huggy Wuggy. He's in my room. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah! Come quick, Mom! Come quick! He's right here! He's right here! Wait, what? What is that? That? Uh, looks like that creepy Huggy Wuggy toy. Molly, is this what you're so afraid of? Maybe we should give him away to Goodwill. It wasn't a toy! He was real! He was big and he was eating Doritos! Molly, you have such a crazy imagination. Uh, imagine if you use that imagination for homework. Homework! Mom, I'm telling the truth. He definitely was creepy and big and... Molly, I'm going to bed. You should do the same. I have worked a double shift today. Good night. Are you taking that toy, Mom? Be careful. Molly, everything's going to be fine. Okay, Mom. Seriously. Be careful, Mom. Be careful! I must not fall asleep. I can't fall asleep. Huggy Wuggy's still in my house, even if he was pretending to be just a normal toy. <laughs> Who wants a hug? Bye, Mom. Have a great day at school, Molly. I will. I'm <sighs> always late for school. That's okay, it's a nice day, so I'll just walk. I can't wait to watch the latest TikTok videos. I bet they're amazing. <laughs> Look at that cat dancing. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Ah, watch out! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I hit that girl. Ah, somebody help, we need an ambulance. Ah! Whoa, where am I? What happened? Hello, Molly. Welcome to heaven. Wait a minute. I died? Yes, you did. And, and I ended up in heaven? <laughs> I was so naughty, I didn't see that one coming. Molly, I am God. Oh, well, hello. Nice to meet you. Um, sorry I never did my homework. Um, and that I was kind of annoying to my sister and stuff. But I'm glad to be here. You won't be here for long. What? Why not? It's not your time yet, Molly. I'm sending you back to Brookhaven. Oh, um, yeah, that's a nice suit. Thanks, it's Armani. He made it especially for me. Oh, <laughs> it must be nice to be God, huh? Sure is. Now, do you want to go back as a human? Or perhaps a bird or something? Whoa, you're saying I can go back to life as anything I want? Yes, Molly, I think you can. Um, well, humans have to do a lot of homework. That doesn't sound much like much fun. And you have to do chores and stuff. <gasps> I know what I want to be. A cat! A cat? Seriously? Why? Because, um, well, you can poop outside and stuff. Seriously? That's why you want to be a cat? Yeah, and, um, I could knock my sister's drinks off the table and I could get away with it because I'm a cat. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of fun. Well, okay, if you really want to be a cat. 
Your wish is my command. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not a cat. You made me into a pig. What, what, what's going on? Oops. <laughs> Seems I need a little vacation to the Bahamas. <laughs> oh, I'm so overworked. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> my masterpiece is beautiful. Oh, wow. I'm really a cat. This is amazing. <laughs> now send me back to Planet Brookhaven. Okay, Molly. But remember, stop looking at TikToks when you go out in the road. Oh, yeah. That was pretty silly of me. Thanks, God. Bye. Meow, meow, meow. What's that sound? It sounds like a cat outside our door, but we don't have a pet cat. Meow, meow, meow. It is a pet cat. Oh, how adorable. Well, at least this cat might make me happy. I mean, I lost my only sister. My beautiful and, well, very annoying sister. I can't believe she got hit by the city bus. Meow, you gonna let me in or not? Whoa, did that cat just talk? I must have lost my mind. Come on, kitty kitty. I could use a friend right now. Meow, meow. I'm not a friend, I'm a cat. Meow. Oh, that cat scratched me! You're rude! You remind me so much of my sister Molly. Maybe I should name you Molly. I am Molly. Meow! Oh my god, I'm going crazy since Molly died! She, 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 she sounds just like my sister! With a lot of meows, too. Get off the couch, you lazy cat! No animals allowed on the furniture! Meow! Get lost! Okay, now I really have lost my mind. Daisy, it's me, Molly. Wait, what? Molly, you, 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 you died. Yeah, but I went to heaven, I saw God, and he said I could come back as anything I wanted because it wasn't my time yet. So, I decided to come back as a cat. Okay, my brain is exploding. I can't, I can't comprehend all of this. What? <sighs> Daisy, don't pass out about it. You don't want to go to heaven. He might turn you into like, a lizard or something. <laughs> Molly, how is this possible? Well, I'm just telling you, I got turned into a cat. Here I am. Excuse me for a minute, I'm very thirsty. Molly, where are you going? Molly! <coughs> Ew, Molly, are you drinking out of the toilet? That's disgusting! Ew! Ew, gross! What, what? It tasted delicious. Don't you know, animals drink out of toilets? Ah, it's like going to Starbucks. Oh. My. Gosh, that was so gross. Um, well, I'm kind of hungry too. You got any cat food? Uh, no. Do you have any cans of tuna? I'm just gonna eat a can of tuna by itself? Yeah, that sounds delicious. Oh my God, I can't believe you got turned into a cat. Well, I'm gonna go outside and play. Um, you get that tuna opened right away. I'm very hungry. I have to go poo-poo, and that yard looks like the perfect toilet. <laughs> ah. Ooh, look at it. I've even got privacy. Look at all these shrubs and bushes. Oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be the best bathroom ever. Ah, that feels better. Oh, you silly cat. Why are you pooping on my yard? Oh, I'm going to get you. Ah, does he have an axe? Wait, I'm not done going potty yet. Hold on, hold on. I'm almost done, then I'll get off your yard. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm back here again? I really wish I could stop dying today. Oh, Molly. I see you're not any more successful at being a cat than you were a human. Um, yeah, uh, I sort of made a mistake. <laughs> Pooping on the neighbor's yard, huh? Yeah, uh, I'm a cat. I also drink out of toilets and stuff. Oh, you can be a cat, but you're going to have to figure out how to survive. Really? Um, do I get another chance? Actually, you get eight more. <laughs> a cat does have nine lives, you know. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Humans only get one. Except for your, if you're me and God doesn't want you to come to heaven. Wait, why didn't you want me to come to heaven? Well, you're a little annoying, Molly. Really? That's why you sent me back to Earth? I thought I had some great epic mission. 
No, I just didn't want you up here eating all the Doritos and Reese Cups on me. Oh, man. Harsh. Okay, back to Brookhaven Planet you go, but remember, you don't have unlimited lives. Okay, God, I'll remember. <laughs> Ugh, I really need a nap. <sighs> Cat naps are a real thing, you know. And I've died so much today, I just need a break. Ooh, this dryer is so warm and cozy. I just need to curl up inside here. Oh boy, I have so much laundry to get done. <laughs> okay, now I just need to press stop. Yes, Michael, that cat Molly is back again. I can't even believe it. Neither can I. I mean, who doesn't think sleeping in the dryer is a good idea? Molly, could you do any of these things as a human? No, but uh, I thought a cat could. Oh, Michael, I'll call you back later. Yeah, we're still on for lunch tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. I'm spending way too much time here, God. What can I do to not do this anymore? Well, I guess you need to learn how to be a better cat. Now, back to Earth you go. <laughs>